This example can demonstrate how marking support and resistance areas on the price chart and ASI can be useful in gauging market sentiment when ASI values are nowhere near zero. We can mark the same approximate area for the ASI when this bearish reversal range forms. This would be the main use of ASI. It can't be used for anticipating or predicting reversal areas, nor can it be used as a primary means for identifying the directions of trends. It's more realistic to think of this indicator as giving an overall idea of market sentiment. Currently, the market is non-trending, being stuck in this range. A bullish continuation would need to break above it and maintain above the highest level. After that happens, this area now becomes a key lower threshold for both the price chart and the ASI indicator to remain above in order to demonstrate sustained bullish sentiment in the longer term. A familiar situation here, we can use some of the most recent peaks to mark boundaries on the price chart and the ASI indicator as movement becomes quite neutral for an extended time. A break over these boundaries is not immediately decisive. In fact, quite the opposite, a break under this area indicates a strong bearish reversal. And similar to if values were near zero for the ASI, this area now marks a persisting upper boundary even when there is a strong gap up. Crossing over this ceiling for the ASI and the price chart would be one indication of sustained bullish sentiment.